it is a bit weird wearing secondhand pants, but yeah. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice, and this channel is called Alice's Life. Anyway, today I'm coming at you from a new corner of my bedroom. Most of you won't have seen this unless you've watched the clothing declutter. Anyway, today I'm doing the closet confidential tag. I'm very late to the game because I know this was around a lot, like six or seven years ago, and no one's actually tagged me in it. I'm kind of using questions I found on the internet, but anyway, I thought it might be interesting just to talk a bit more about the clothes that I have been wearing and kind of what's in my closet. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be 15 questions. I'm going to put the questions at the bottom and I'm going to show you most of the items that I'm talking about as well. Okay, first up is what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And it's actually these shorts which I got in 2006 when I was about 12 years old. They're from Jules, Junior Jules. Uh, the label's actually rubbed off. Look, you can't even see that they are from Jules. Pretty sure they're size 12 to 13 years old. Well, I only really use them for painting. I used them a bit for gardening last year, but I don't know, I just rarely like them. <laughs> they're not cool at all, but I don't know, I just can't get rid of them. Anyway, so they've been in my wardrobe a long time. The newest item in my wardrobe are these boots. They are the Scarpa GTX Terra Woman walking boots. You're meant to size up a bit, so these are quite, these are size eight. Yeah, but I'm really pleased with these and they're the newest item. I bought them from the Cotswold shop. There was a little bit of a sale on, so I went on, but I bought them in person. I didn't get them online. But yeah, I've only, haven't worn them much, but I'm hoping that these will last me a really long time. The most expensive item in my wardrobe is so expensive that I've actually bought it its own bag. It's this really cool um, Thelwell bag. It's got all the little characters of kids riding their ponies. Anyway, there's a side pocket where I keep uh, high vis and some gloves. So I've never really bought like an expensive handbag or like designer trench coat or anything like that. My most expensive item are these riding boots. And they cost £286, I think. I bought them in March 2021, so I've had them for about 18 months. And I wear them about three times a week, just for riding. I tend to wear welly boots or mucker boots the rest of the time. I'm really pleased with them, yeah. But they were expensive, but I'm so pleased that I actually took the plunge and bought them. Anyway, so these are height short and calf slim, size six and a half. Yeah, so I was a bit surprised I had to get size shorts when I'm five foot six. Anyway, so far this closet confidential tag is taking a bit more of an outdoorsy vibe, and it's continuing in the fourth question. And this is the sort of best bargain that I've ever bought. I bought it at a car boot sale earlier this year, 2022, at an equestrian car boot sale, and it's this toggy coat. It features in a previous video, but anyway, it only costs five pounds, and I think it's like eighty pounds new. But it's got this silky lining, really nice, just like a black lightweight waterproof coat for horse riding and it only costs £5 and I like wear it nearly every time I ride, if, unless it's actually sunny, but yeah, best bargain, definitely. Next is, what was the biggest waste of money? I think it's a bit hard to say what the biggest waste of money is, but something I, I'm a little bit annoyed about is early 2016 I went to a ball. So I had to buy a ball gown, so I did a big, big order from ASOS and I ended up keeping this ball gown which cost £50. It's like a full length ball gown, still fits me. I don't know if it is a waste of money but it's just a bit annoying that I've had it for six and a half years since that first wear and I haven't had another occasion to wear it. But then I feel like I need to keep it. But anyway, I'd say maybe this is a waste of money but then I needed a ball gown at short notice so maybe it wasn't a waste of money. Okay, so this question is a little bit, might gross some people out, but anyway, I moved into a new house share, like, September 2018, it was like a student house share, and there was a pair of pants, like underwear, in the tumble dryer, and they're these Victoria's Secret ones, so I went, I moved in at the same time as one of my other new housemates, and the previous household had just moved out, so I asked her, because I saw some underwear in the tumble dryer and I asked her if those were her underwear and she said no. So I was like, hmm, Victoria's Secret underwear, no one's going to claim them. But I don't know if that grow. I washed them again, 
But yeah, I'm wearing someone else's pants and that was like four years ago. But I actually wear them like at least every once every two weeks. Like whenever I do the washing, I, I always wear these. Okay, so my three favourite items, two of them are more sort of workwear and it's first one is going to be these Wallace cropped trousers with like a little pleat down the middle. I wear them the whole time at work. When I bought them in a charity shop earlier this year, I didn't think I would wear them so much because I'm not so much of a trousers person, but I just really like them. They've got belt loops, pockets actually work, just really nice. And I kind of feel like maybe I should go and look into the actual Wallace shop and see if they've got any other colours, just because I really am enjoying wearing these. Second would be this Reese top, which my mum got me. So it's just this basic white, very oversized. It's size 12, but I think it's oversized as well. And it's got these like rose gold buttons at the back. I just really like it. And I suppose it's not only for work, I can wear it outside of work as well. Then the third item of clothing is going to be this Oasis dress. It's this kind of like Persian lilac pink, blue, creamy print, and it falls um, just a bit above the knee. But yeah, I really like wearing this. I bought it in a charity shop in Wales a few years ago for £7. A favourite item of clothing that someone has given me is this Musto fleece. I really like the colour, it's probably my favourite colour. Anyway, I just, I like that it's got a zip, it's got pockets of zips. I know it's a bit more of like, um, I don't know, it's not really like going out sort of thing, but it's just really warm and comfy. I just like, like to wear it a lot for like lunch around the house whenever it's a bit chilly but more so in winter and autumn. Yeah, favourite item of clothing that has been gifted. The most comfortable item in my wardrobe at the moment are these shorts which I bought earlier this year from H&M. So yeah, they're just like a tracksuit bottom sort of material and they're like that on the inside. Just really comfy. Yeah. I like to put these on after work or something or when I'm just lounging around the house. The most outrageous item in my wardrobe is this little black dress. It's kind of like a going out and clubbing dress. It's just, I don't know, it's not really me, but it's the sort of thing that if you wear out you get a lot of compliments. But anyway, it's got this nude lining so it makes it look like you're naked with just a bit of black lace. Very strappy, very short. But yeah, I'll say it's fairly outrageous for me. These Clark sandals are actually quite uncomfortable. They don't look it, but it's kind of like this bottom bit digs into the tops of your knuckles on your toes a bit. Yeah, but I don't know, the actual sole is comfy and the heel heart is comfy. They are getting a little bit bashed around and damaged, so I'm debating whether I should declutter them. But yeah, I do like them. I look the way, like the way they make my feet and my legs look, and they do look very classy. But yeah, not comfy. This is not a cool answer, but I tend to mostly shop in like charity shops, car boot sales, and also Marks and Spencers. I was trying to rack my brain. I kind of wish I was the sort of person that would shop in Zara, but nah. I just like the quality in Marks and Spencers. Yeah. Oh, I like Fat Face. That's a bit expensive though. Now I'm going to pick my favourite black item, and it's this blazer from Jack Wills. I bought it maybe late 2014 or early 2015, kind of during my undergraduate degree. I really like these like black spots, like a bit of silky lining, it's size 8, it's still got the spare buttons in here, pockets are just there for decorative purposes, they've got four buttons on the sleeves, but yeah, favourite black item I would say. They don't seem to make them like this anymore in Jack Wills, but this is a really good water wardrobe staple which I've had for several years now. And then my favourite white item would be a toss up between this Reese shirt which I mentioned earlier and then also this Oasis loose and breezy shirt which I wear a vest underneath. Yeah, Something that I like to wear but everyone else hates or that people are like Alice where you in there you're not doing any exercises but I like to just wear it around the house kind of as lounge wear are these Nike Air shorts. I got them from like one of those Nike outlet stores. Very cool, high waisted. There's no pockets, they're just quite simple. Yeah, I don't know, I just like wearing them. But other people are like, well, nah. 
Okay, final 15th question is an item that I'm looking forward to wearing soon, and it's this H&M dress, which I actually bought second hand, but anyway, it's this grey H&M dress, which goes just below the knee, and it's kind of like a dress that I like to wear for interviews and stuff, and I'm looking forward to wearing it because I have an interview coming up next week, so yeah, looking forward to wearing this again doesn't get much use these days. Okay so that's it for this video, if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up, if you can think of any other like tags or lists of questions that you want me to answer you can leave those in the comments below and bye, thanks for watching!